So, the anamorphic revolution continues uh, with the new Sirui 75mm anamorphic lens. This is actually the fourth lens from Sirui that makes anamorphic video both affordable and easy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then let me quickly summarize it. Uh, before Sirui's lineup of lenses, it was either very expensive to get into anamorphic video or difficult. Uh, all other anamorphic lenses are very, very expensive and, and also they're usually built for PL mount cameras, which means that to use them, you also have to get very expensive cinema cameras. The only other way to shoot anamorphic video on a low budget is to use either adapters, which don't really give you that real anamorphic look, uh, or, like some people, you could hack uh, projection anamorphic lenses and adapt them to use with your cameras, but those were usually very big and also very difficult to use because of the focusing and uh, several other issues. Well, all of that changed in December of 2019 when Siri released the first ever true anamorphic lens uh, that's sharp, affordable, and, and it can be used with mirrorless cameras and that was the 50mm f1.8 uh, anamorphic lens with a 1.33 squeeze aspect ratio. Uh, then in 2020, they followed that up with the 35mm, also f1.8 lens, uh, and then at the beginning of 2021, they released the beautiful 24mm f2.8 anamorphic lens. Well, here we are in May of 2021, and Siri has done it again with their latest edition, which is the 75 millimeter F1.8 anamorphic lens with the same 1.33 squeeze aspect ratio. This means that when shooting with this lens, just like all their other lenses, you'll get a 33% horizontal field of view increase. Uh, these lenses are designed to work with micro four thirds cameras and APS-C size cameras that shoot standard 16 by nine video. Uh, that means that when the final image is de-squeezed by 1.33 times, you'll end up with an ultra-wide cinema scope, uh, 2.4 to 1 uh, aspect ratio. Uh, of course, the wider aspect ratio is not the only reason that people decide to shoot with anamorphic lenses. Uh, some of the other anamorphic characteristics that this lens produces are those beautiful oval bokeh highlights, now this lens has 13 uh, aperture blades, which is the reason why it produces a very smooth and very natural looking bokeh. Another characteristic are those typical horizontal lens flares. Uh, now, for those of you who are worried about those overly strong uh, blue light streaks, uh, I can tell you that from my testing, I noticed that this can be easily controlled uh, by simply using a matte box and also putting the lens at just the right angle to your light source, uh, you can make those horizontal lens flares as uh, strong or as subtle as you want. What I do love about this lens, 
uh, is that aside from those blue light streaks, uh, this also produces uh, very organic looking secondary flares and light blooms. Uh, so just by having uh, the light source hit the front of the lens at the right angle, uh, you can produce a very beautiful looking glows and sort of these haze effects that take away that uh, digital edge from today's overly sharp uh, ultra high definition cameras. Another great thing about this lens is that it's surprisingly sharp considering it actually has a real anamorphic optics inside. Uh, unlike traditional or spherical lenses, anamorphic lenses usually suffer from terrible softness when you're using them wide open. Well, with this lens, even when you're shooting wide open at f1.8, it's actually pretty sharp. But if you stop it down just by one f-stop, you'll notice that it gets just as sharp as any good traditional uh, spherical lens. Now, if you want that soft and very shallow depth of field, uh, then this lens will deliver even better than the previous uh, Siri anamorphic lenses. Uh, and that's considering the fact that this is a longer focal length of 75 millimeters and that it's an anamorphic lens. Uh, it means that you will not have any problems creating a nice separation uh, from your background or foreground. When I was shooting with this lens on a micro four thirds camera, uh, I was still able to get a very narrow depth of field, uh, both when the subject was uh, very close to the camera, but also really far away, all the way up to like 20 feet. Uh, of course, if you're using the APS-C size version of this lens, then that shallow depth of field uh, is gonna be even more noticeable. Uh, just remember that this lens is manual focus only. Uh, so you'll definitely wanna practice a lot uh, if you're gonna try pulling focus on a moving subject. Uh, if your subject is within 15 feet, it's actually not that hard because of the nice long throw of the focus ring, which is uh, 186 degrees. But if you're focusing on a subject that's like 20 feet all the way up to infinity, it can get uh, sometimes difficult simply because you'll notice that that's when the focus ring travels very little distance. And so uh, it can get difficult uh, just nailing that focus perfectly. Also, this lens has a minimum focus distance of four feet or 1.2 meters. Uh, so if you're hoping to get those real close macro shots, then you're definitely gonna need to use uh, diopters on the front of the lens. Uh, those are actually fairly easy to find and, and inexpensive. So if you guys want more info, check out my website. Now, if you are gonna be attaching those diopters or maybe some other lens filters on the front of the, the lens, then there is actually a threaded front here that's 67 millimeters in diameter. Uh, how does this uh, anamorphic lens compare to the other Siri lenses? Uh, well, it also has the same solid build quality, yet it's small and light enough uh, for an anamorphic lens. Uh, it also matches the look of the other lenses perfectly and works alongside them really well. So if you actually end up getting all of these lenses, then you're definitely gonna have the most important focal lengths to be able to shoot a complete project. Overall, I love the images that this lens creates. It's a sharp yet very organic looking lens with those true anamorphic characteristics. Uh, so if you're a fan of the other Siri lenses or maybe you're curious about getting into the world of anamorphic lenses, then definitely check out the 75 millimeter F1.8 lens from Siri. Uh, my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys on another beautiful day.